Okay, so this is his comment that he left after all of you were kind enough to promote the hashtag DY is dipshit. That was great. And also very funny. It was fucking hilarious. This dark line is what he is referring to right here. And swings wildly the Red Bull jump. Oh, for wait, fuck's sake. Wait, seriously? Yes, seriously. This motherfucker is gonna try and con is gonna try and compare a camera that is on a gimbal system to a camera that is swinging wildly under a balloon. The Red Bull jump. That's a very good sign. So the good signs would be no wild looking tumble or spin. Now he didn't use the right picture because um, there was one picture where he was leaning forward and the the horizon was actually near his eye. That's why they always claim it's eye level. Yeah, uh, where does that red line com come from? In this case, like, what is this reference? The um, looks like haze from the horizon or from the atmosphere above the horizon. <laughs> so, in order to find out if the horizon is dropping, his reference is going to be the horizon itself. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant! We're at the cutting edge of Flat Earth research. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely zero drop of the horizon. And again, compared what to is what? Your measuring yeah. reference. You literally just like drew a line. Said, "Look, the line I drew is over the thing I threw it on." Also, uh, go uh, go back a bit. Go back a bit. I want to point out something. When uh, when Felix is uh, you know standing up or leaning forward. That part of the video, right there. Okay, notice how the, uh, you can't actually see the horizon because the exposure of the camera has completely whitewashed the background. Where is your fucking reference? Where? Where is your fucking reference? Where? There he is inspecting the capsule before he suited up.
unpacking or laying out the balloon. And there, Baumgartner inside the capsule, hel helmeted now. No, not inside the capsule. He's still going in from his, from his trailer and being lifted now on that lift up to the capsule and then going in the capsule. All of this earlier today. This was as the sun rose over Roswell. Where is your fucking reference? Then going in the capsule. All of this earlier today. This was as the sun rose over Roswell. Where? Where is your fucking reference? Where? Then going in the capsule. All of this earlier today. This was as the sun rose over Roswell. Where? Then going in the capsule. All of this earlier today. So this was as the sun access. rose over Roswell. Well, my question is, how did space turn white? Exactly. And the the ground is not. If that is ground. Oh my god, I... he's he's jumping he's jumping into space. <laughs> is he upside down? That would be a hell of a balloon ride, wouldn't it? <laughs> Either that or he's, he's falling uh... up. Hear that, or he's <laughs> on the ground, and everything below the uh, everything below the frame is desert, <laughs> or below that... the line, I should say, is desert. I'd like to see the video on how he entered the capsule. Did he go, did he actually go forward in and then turn around, or did he back into it? Let's see. I think he backed into it because it does say earlier today. You win. <laughs> So now play it forward. Actually, by using uh, his own line, there actually was horizon drop. But again, this isn't a accurate representation of a I, legit. I see what he was doing. What was it? He found two frames where the horizon is going across the went the opening in the same place, uh -huh. and claiming zero drop. Now, if memory serves, that exactly wasn't a stable platform. No, yes. no, it wasn't. It was swinging underneath a fucking balloon. So he literally cherry picked out two frames that the horizon matched and is claiming that's his measuring stick. Yes. <laughs> it's wow. it, he's he's cherry picking evidence. That is exactly correct. There he is inspecting the capsule before he suited up. Unpacking or laying out the balloon and there Baumgartner inside the capsule, hel helmeted now. No, not inside the capsule. He's still going in from his from his trailer and being lifted now on that lift up to the capsule and then going in the capsule. All of this earlier today. This was as the sun rose over Roswell. Maybe 30 and seconds. And swings after he drops wildly. Him, he will gradually at the at, at the again and in the beginning he has no control at all but toward Toward the 30 second mark, now, he begins to get and swings and wildly. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. And swings wildly. There it is. There's a world out there. The door has opened. Roll the door open. To a camera that is swinging open. wildly under a balloon. The Red Bull door jump. Open. Door <sighs> Okay, item 26. Move seat to the rear of capsule. Item 27. Lift legs into the door threshold. Item 28. Slide the seat forward. Okay, item 
item 29, release seat belt. And swings wildly. Item 29, Felix, release the seat belt. Attaboy, that's good. Okay, slide forward into the rest position. And swings wildly. Go a little bit further forward so we can check your shoot. Your shoot's okay, Felix. I say it again. Item 31. Your shoot integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32. Verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached and knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. And swings wildly. Okay. Chest pack face plate heat is on. Make certain that's is on and you got a red light. Green light is on. Okay, uh, here we go. Item 34. Disconnect chest pack umbilical. To a camera that is swinging wildly okay. under okay. a balloon. On the, communications? the Red Bull jump. Oh. Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay. Stow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. And swings Release wildly. Down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. You can just wait until the pod's swing matches your observation. Then you can cherry pick that particular frame out. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, I know you're lying, but you sound excited. And you know that I know that you lying over. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, we're playing the PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> Trying to read what all this says. Globe Earth version 1.1. 1. 1. The Netherlands gives a location. Cameras at 24.757 miles, pitches at zero. 53 degrees. We're slight when we need them. Yeah, I know. Go figure, right? I'd like to use a lifeline and eliminate two of the answers. Yeah, I'd uh, like to ask the audience. Okay, I'd like to uh, phone a friend. We're slight when we need them. Yeah, I know. Go figure, right? What the fuck? I think, I think the one on the left is supposed to be the... Uh, the the globe earth model and the other one is supposed to be a flat earth model and he's saying that that the flat earth model matches the what he just showed you win. no no jeffrey the right hand side is not the flat earth because here just talking about serious um field of view 53 degrees what the hell is this supposed to be well, it says it's at the netherlands so Oh, Maybe okay. This... So I think I figured out what the... I think he's giving the location by the star sign.
I just punch in the number now for the last position we have from Baumgartner. And I guess this is what most people would do when they come to his website. They would get following picture. And there is something slightly deceptive about this picture and I'm going to prove that as well. I don't know if he did that on purpose or if it's a genuine mistake or maybe his confirmation bias which makes him put the globe in the center of the picture. It's exactly in the center. Now that would only happen if you have any optical device or an observer which would actually correct his eye level looking down to the outline of that spherical body because the eye level in this picture is above the center of the picture and I would say most people 90% uh, of people who maybe come to his website they will be slightly overwhelmed with all the options they can have here you know all the stuff they can put in there and it would might escape him that the camera aim is put at horizon now I think it's not really fair and maybe Valtis Block should consider to have as standard option the option what an observer really would see in that height which is the eye level option now because this gives a completely different picture it's basically much more dramatic if a observer or a camera is looking perpendicular from the ground above that um, spherical body then basically this is the drop that person would perceive or that optical unit would pick up and of course that's more dramatic than what we have when we use just a standard option okay and uh, I want to go and show you what I did in my graphic tool concerning that and then also conclude with this video uh, an interesting observation I made concerning the Baumgartner video so that's important as well now <coughs> if you look at this just let's finish off with the what I call the eye level of deception I'm not saying he does that willingly but it is a little bit deceptive now the left picture is the picture an observer would really see if he looks straight out okay and this is the picture the standard option shows okay so basically he put the ball is exactly in the center because that little box I created to find the exact center of that uh, of this picture okay I made a screenshot of it and the exact center is basically where this red block is there okay so that means the eye level is in the center and in his standard options the globe or the um, outline of this spherical body is exactly in the middle of the picture and this is the drop the person should see now this blue line you remember this is now leading back to the Baumgartner video again would be interesting but I add one more line to the outline of that spherical body and then uh, we go and have a look now here's something interesting happening basically the horizon line in the shot in 40 kilometer heights and on the ground is actually higher than what the um, simulator yeah, of Valtis block is predicting now I think when you use the right option eye level Valtis block is correct because it should be at eye level which is the center of the picture if you look perpendicular above the ground so what I think whether there is some information picture information missing up here or the capsule is really leaning a little bit forward because the horizon appears higher than the center of the picture but here comes the kicker that's the same on the ground okay now also to highlight a little bit uh, what this all should look like so basically according to um, 
Mr. Valtis block, basically his view should be down here. He should see the outline of that spherical body down here. And I, I add a little gadget here. And this is maybe where we stop it, the whole video, um, or conclude. Basically, this is more or less what he should actually see. He should actually not see it like it was in the real world. If he was above a globe, he should actually see it like this. Yeah, so the outline of that body should be down here, really. Roughly something like that. That's what he should see. No, no, Jeffrey, the right hand side is not the flat earth. <laughs> the horizon line is in the same place. So that means if this capsule was leaning forward, it lean exactly the same manner on the ground and in 40 kilometer heights. There he is inspecting the capsule before he suited up. Well, my question is, how did space turn white? Exactly. And the, the ground is not. And swings wildly. That's a very good sign. So the good signs would be no wild looking tumble or spin. <laughs> Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. There it is. There's a world out there.